Hi, I'm Enlai and welcome back to It's a Date. In the last episode, I managed to pair up one of our girls, Emilia, with Derek. This week, I'm here at the Oasia Hotel Singapore with Joanna, Charlene, and a brand new girl, Per. I also have three new guys to introduce to them, so hopefully they will all find a match. Well, hello, hello, Joanna and Charlene, welcome back. We also have someone new, Perlin, also known as Per. So before we begin, Per, tell us a little bit about yourself. I think I'm still single because I live really, really fast. Okay. I'm not even living in a fast lane, I'm living on a jet plane while other people are maybe in trishaws. Right, so what exactly are you looking for? Based on past experiences, I always oscillate. Okay. I go for like super bad boys, then I go for like... No, actually I go for pretty bad people. Okay, so do you think you're destined for bad boys then? I think... I'm destined for adventure. Okay ladies, it's now time for you girls to meet the brand new guys. So here we have Mike, we have Calix and Wazen. I thought, wow, the producers love me a lot. <laughs> nah, first season I say I like nerds. And this time I have two. <laughs> the guys in the last episodes were very intimidating because they were so good looking. So only <laughs> these guys are a little bit more my speed, presentable, my style one. Yeah, okay. And here are the ladies, Joanna, Charlene, and Per. So are all of you ready for the challenge? Let's yeah. go! Let's go! Okay girls, your task for today is to build a bookshelf from scratch. Of course you have some help from the guys, but as usual, there is a catch. Girls, you'll be assembling everything over here on this side. But the instructions will be over there with the guys on that side. And the instructions cannot be removed from that stand. We've also created a no-go zone right here, which means no one's allowed to step in here. Each guy will come into the room one at a time and he will have 20 minutes with you. You ready? <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay, so Mike's first. Your time starts now. Okay, girls. Now let's assemble. Okay, okay. The, let's take the two vertical planks first. The two longest vertical planks, both on the left and right. I started with a talk show voice. I was like, what the hell is this? is not a talk show. Stan, you want the longest, the same length. Same length. The initial reaction, I was a bit put off. Yeah, make this too, right. I'm not that much of a like technical person or even the hands-on kind of person. I myself is really, I, I can't even build that thing. Right? And I have just no idea how to communicate it to, to the girls. So in my mind, it's just blank. That's that is not how it's supposed to be set up, yes, I think. it doesn't. But because you're a guy, you're supposed this... to know this. Shh. Wait, hang on, this is a shelf because the sides yeah, are precisely, finished. Yeah, precisely, That's good, okay, precise. yes, there's the wrong one, okay. Do you have a, like a uh, smaller, smaller yeah, one? I kind of gave up after a while because Charlene was like taking charge. I was like, oh, that's good. At least somebody knows what she's doing. Oh, you know what I, I mean? know what he's doing. No, I don't even sorry. know what I'm doing. <laughs> doing okay. okay, the nail, oh my god. This is, uh, you find like something like a small nail with a, like a toilet bowl kind of nail, you know, a small toilet bowl. Mike tried, I think Mike really, really tried, but Mike is not a DIY guy. Is there a school that can go in that, that, uh, that yeah. thing? Mike was a horrible instructor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Which go I? in here. So good or go in You're supposed here. to be the good one. Okay, okay, I figured out, never mind. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Put it down. Yes, that's right. This that, one Joanna or? was pointing to it. Yes. This one? That's right, that's the hole. Can oh. you go in? Yeah, no. Sure. I think that's good. Well, I feel very, very bad actually. Yeah. I didn't manage to communicate that well to the girls. Mm. My confidence is there? slowly there? evaporating. <laughs> okay, you mean, uh, let's see. Is that four times? The washer is a four times washer. Oh, it means got four of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Not four times. Overall, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I didn't know anything. I felt like shouting at him, hey, dude, get in the kitchen and we girls will take charge. Okay, Mike. Stop! No more screwing! Thank you very much. We'll see how well you've done later on. Thank you. Now we'd like to call upon Kalex. Okay. Yeah! Builder Bob. Bob the Builder. When Kalex came in, um, I was very relieved because uh, I know that anyone will be better than Mike. <laughs> Time starts now. Go! Get a nail. What kind of nail? A ball. 
Yeah, you know the names of things. Yes, that 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 thing. Yes. Yes. Uh, put it on the sides of the thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, like that. Yes. Yeah. And the other one. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I like you already. Yes. Always a good thing when the guy actually knows what stuff is called. Right. Yeah. Okay. Then you now flip the thing up. You see, there's two there's two um nut on the top. Yeah. yeah. So you just shove it down. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I think Alex is slightly better at giving instructions. Um. As compared to Mike. Uh, I have do they do they fit? Do they look? No, good? okay, babe. I think the reason why, right, is because it's supposed to be down instead of up. Wow, you're damn good. Yes, yes, you are. All right. I think Kalix is really shy. It's just the way he stands. Like he's just really cute, like buff guy. He's like kind of always sticking his hands in his pockets, kind of like standing like that. It's quite adorable. Okay, yeah. Alright, great. Okay, Alright, now put the back, yeah, back piece on. Yes, <laughs> you were very outgoing, very outspoken. Yeah, I like that about those three girls. Alright, grab the top piece, which is which has like lines on top. He's very focused because he was really quite like, okay, girls, get this done. So I was like, quite good. Yes. You have to screw that thing. That's, if not, it's not, it's not stable. With, With what? what? With screws. How to? There's no hole. Okay. Oh, go, 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 there, go, Yeah, go. there's holes. Okay, there's so supposed to be holes. Right? Pearl is kind of... blur, I would say. Because she doesn't know like what's going on. But yeah, at least she asks. Which is very good. I like the kind of girl where, you know, you ask, you, you, you're not afraid, you know, to do anything. Okay, colleagues, that's it for you. Thank you very much. No, don't go! Bye, colleagues. We now call upon the next handyman, Wazen! Hi, Wazen! Your time starts now. We came in, he was so cute. He was wearing a braided belt and a tucked in polo t shirt. I was like, because you know, Joanna likes nuts. So I was like, no, confirm nut. I think I'm blushing. <laughs> Yo, all top four screws are, are they all in already? Yep. Yes. No. yes. Side screws as, uh, on the back panel as well. Oh my god, he sounds so professional. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next step. The next step will involve putting on the top, the top shelves. Okay. okay. Wei is very, very calm. And given the kind of person that I am, right, when people around me are calm, I just feel like, oh, yeah, somebody knows what they are doing because I don't, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. You need to get the um, rivets to help you in your next task. Rivets. It's, uh, let me see, 101350. Rivets are these? Uh, it's kind of looks like a candy bar. Um, Negative. Like that? Negative. Oh, he was like, negative. <laughs> just like, this guy is a riot. Yeah, yeah. Basically, basically what we need to achieve now, right, is to construct the outer frame of the top shelf, which is the, the top shelf, followed by the uh, two walls, and followed by the, the base shelf. Okay, okay. He looks like Madonna when he does that, you know. Full! Okay, good job girls. Uh, maybe you might want to find this um, screw that kind of looks like a stormtrooper's helmet. This looks like a stormtrooper helmet. Bingo, that's right. Yeah. Bingo, who uses that? Even my dad doesn't say that anymore. There's four? Yeah, I know what, what to do. Okay, okay excellent. Among all the girls, I think that uh, my impression of Charlene is overall the most positive. She's a hands-on person. She, she strives to get the work done. I think that that is an important attribute in a person, be it a man or a woman. Pegs, Basically, right? you need all the yes, correct the wooden packs for this next task. And do we need any other screws? Let me determine. We will let you determine. No negative, just pegs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have to utilize seven pegs for this. All right. Okay, we will utilize seven pegs. The, the important thing is that when you put the scoops, make sure that they're level. So when you fit in the shelves, they are flush. It reminds me of my grandfather, the way he speaks. I was just like, oh, so funny. Yes, and thank you very much, Wazen. Your time has ended. That's all the time you guys have. Ta-da! Here we go! The bookshelf! Well, you almost completed the task, except for, um, a missing part right here. The reason why we actually left it out is that we wanted you to do the honour of fitting in the last shelf. Oh, sure, okay. Sure. Oh, well, here we go, the last one. The other side, the other side, the other side. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. I was just testing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. The handyman can or cannot 
almost yes, can. <laughs> almost can. So I mean, I guess isn't it interesting how um, we've realized today with this hands-on activity that communication is absolutely vital. It really reveals people's um, character traits. On that note, that's all the time we have left for this episode. But don't worry, I'll let you guys get to know each other a little bit better next week. Before we go, I'm sure you really want to know what the girls think of the guy so far, right? Well, here we go. At this point, uh, if I had to pick, I'd be way uh, because uh, he's really funny. I, I re he, he scored points with all the lingo. <laughs> No, negative. Bingo. Negative. I think I would pick Wei. Strange, right? You didn't expect that, right? But I would. Because he's very calm and he's funny and like, you know, and smart. Very smart. I like that. I like smart people. Well, if I had to pick one, I would probably pick Wei. Lor. The way he, he projects himself, he feels like very nerdy and stuff, but I think there's more to him than meets the eye. Well, it looks like at this early stage, we've found Mr. Popular. All three girls have chosen Wei. But things may change. Will he be able to sustain their interest? And what about the other two guys? Will they up their game? Interesting times ahead. That's all we have for this episode. We'll see you next week. Oh my god, I can totally feel it. What the hell do you do? I think she'll kill me. Like, I, the mixture of color. Is this part where you kiss me? <laughs> so I'm not sure whether to really go with the eyebrows itself or what. And I think I put too much that looks like gorilla, I think. <laughs> I look like Nicki Minaj's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mariah Carey.